Police believe that the suspect, Ian McPherson, robbed a gas station early Thursday morning. Officer Hardy saw McPherson and thought he fit the description of the suspect. New tonight, McPherson's father spoke to News 9 one-on-one. -on -one. WMUR's Mike Cronin joins us live now from the scene on Ferry Street. Mike. Tonight, his father says what started here on Ferry Street was avoidable. Russell McPherson says his son constantly lives in fear and is terrified of everyone, even his own family. This morning in Manchester. Russell McPherson is still trying to process what his son is accused of. To go to this extent, no. I, I still can't believe that he would have done that. Ian McPherson's father says his son has a history of mental illness. I'm sorry to begin with that these officers were injured. I know they have a very hard and thankless job often. But even more sorry if it was my son that, that did this. Russell describes Ian as a sweet child growing up until he was about 17 years old. Court records from Merrimack District Court show he was arrested multiple times, most recently in 2012. Documents say he violently attacked his father, kicking him, grabbing him by the neck, and smashing his head into the floor. Russell says that was the last time he saw him. I don't know a lot of, of my son for the last five years other than he's been homeless. Russell says his son was abused in school, suffered a head injury in a car accident, and is paranoid schizophrenic. Well, I'm extremely angry. I'm extremely angry with the system. It's failed not only my son Ian, it's failed the family, and it's failed these police officers. Russell says multiple court orders have been ignored over the years. He was court ordered to take meds and go to counseling, and as the government keeps pulling funds, um, they keep rotating psychiatrists. He says this situation that had an entire city on edge should have never happened. As long as we keep pin pinching pennies on mental health issues, these things are going to grow and they're going to happen. You know, there's no reason that somebody with his history should be able to get a gun. Russell says Ian's issues should have been dealt with years ago, and he hopes that the officers who were injured recover quickly. Reporting live in Manchester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.